Welcome to G3, games, gadgets, and guests, an audio and video podcast from 702 Communications. I'm your host, Brian Crowley. We've got a guest episode for you today, and in just a moment we'll be talking with Lucas and Angie from Gravity Gaming by Bytespeed right here in Moorhead. Uh, we're going to talk about their new line of gaming PCs, and that should be interesting, so stick around. All right, here we go. Uh, we've got a first here for G3. We've got two guests at the same time, and I couldn't be happier to have Angie and Lucas uh, here to talk about Gravity Gaming by Byte Speed. So welcome, guys. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Why don't you introduce yourselves, tell us what you do uh, at Byte Speed or Gravity Gaming and uh, what you guys do as a whole for Gravity Gaming. My name is Angie Gugisberg, and I work in our marketing department. So I played a big part in creating the website and kind of getting that going. So I'm Lucas Holney. I'm the CTO at Bicepeed and one of the Gravity Gaming experts. Um, so I also have had a lot to do with the launch of the product and getting everything ready and going. And um, just some of the backstory. Um, mm -hmm. So. Uh, Bicepeed is founded in 1999, and we build computers for the K-12 uh, market um, nationwide. So we probably build about 50,000 PCs a year, and we're always looking for new avenues to kind of get into in different segments to kind of start marketing and building computers for. Mm -hmm. And it came up with one of our quarterly meetings with Microsoft. We were talking about the PC market and how just everything's kind of on a decline lately. You know, PCs are going down, laptops are going down. So we're looking for the segments to kind of get into that we can um, start growing. Mm -hmm. And gaming is one of the only uh, PC segments on the rise in the United States. Um, there's been quite a few companies lately that have come into the market and um, we're looking to get in there and kind of use use our resources of byte speed to kind of push um, gravity gaming and the, the hardware and our services and all that stuff that goes along with it. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the, the realization where it came from like, okay, we, we already have the vendors that we deal with that, um, that we get the product from, we already have the support personnel, we already have everything marketing. Um, we, there's probably about 60 people employed there that, um, support the Bicebe product and are going to be supporting the Gravity product as well. Um, so we really have a good foundation to mm -hmm. start from mm -hmm. and um, a very wide selection of resources we can offer and whatnot. So so we're looking to, uh, uh, so yeah, we just launched our website um, this month and looking to, to promote our product, get our name out there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, you can't argue that gaming is a strong segment, and you can't argue that that gaming continues to grow. You know, you've still got you know the console sy systems, and you've got you know the the hardcore gamers that are that are on the on the PCs, right? And I was I was a PC gamer um, for years, honestly, um, but then I, I made the decision myself. And, and partially because I'm married, um, that I couldn't keep spending the money to keep up with the, you know, the most latest system and whatever. And so I went to the console and I never looked back. But um, y there are some names out there, right, in the gaming console industry. Um, Alienware comes to mind, you know, Dell comes to mind. Um, what do you guys have as far as a lineup to compete with that? And and talk to me a little bit about what you bring to the table that maybe uh, the national players don't. Right. So that kind of goes along with the research we did coming up um, with how we're going to come out with this and what we're going to do. Like you bring up Alienware as an example. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just kind of like a basic gaming system from them is about $800. Mm -hmm. It's got an i3 with a uh, GT740 video card. I mean, it's not a powerhouse system at all. Right. And they're charging $800 for that. Um, our base system, which is the Impact, um, is $850 starting out. Mm -hmm. And it has an i5 base with a GT750, um, an overclocked one. Okay. So, I mean, we're 50 bucks more expensive on our kind of base model, but you get so much more out of it. Mm -hmm. We offer a longer warranty along with that. We'll do a two-year standard warranty on the parts. Um, Lifetime toll-free tech support. Uh, we have good uh, website uh, live chat as well. So we can always get a hold of somebody. You can always talk to somebody if you need to. We're uh, just over Moorhead. Um, mm -hmm. That's where everything is, our production, our support, and 
It's just um, the ease of doing business with us is um, our strong point. So what were the what were some challenges or, or what are you perceiving as some challenges? This is a marketing question um, to to launching a new product line specifically targeted at gamers. Um, did did you have some specific um, ideas about how to get there or some specific challenges you knew you'd need to overcome or talk to us about the marketing plan for this a little bit? Yeah, I would say the social media and getting to know how it works with the gamers and um, what we need to do as far as um, getting our name out through social media like Twitch and uh, Twitter, Facebook, all those things. So we've done a few ads with Facebook that mm -hmm. have done really, really well. Um, and we've just been amazed with that piece of it. So, um, and it's brought in a lot of traffic to the website and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, and we're also um, doing some events as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's kind of exciting. We have an upcoming NDSU um, tailgate expo that we'll be at. Um, we currently got our um, licensing with NDSU to have their bison logos on there. So, mm. we're really excited for that. Absolutely. And yep. um, so, and we also, our very first LAN party was with Games on the Plains. Games on the Plains, co-sponsored. Yeah. Yes, yep. yes. So that was fun. And it was fun to see the excitement in the local area, too. So that's also another big part in promoting Gravity is um, locally. So definitely doing some local events. And um, we're hoping to work with um, Herds and Horns. Sorry. Um, and so... They are talking about doing kind of some um, land parties there weekly or monthly or something like that. So we're excited for that as well, um, as well as a NDSU student land party. And Lucas has been a kind of a big part in getting that set up and stuff like that. So those are kind of some things mm -hmm. that we've done so far. And there's still lots to learn being new to the gaming industry. Mm -hmm. There's there's lots of different things that we need to um, look at and yeah, I, I think that I think that Games on the Plains was a great you know launch event for you guys. Um, I wasn't able to be there because my kids were actually at EDC swimming that day, so I oh. kind of had to go support my kids instead of land party all day. <laughs> um, but I, I saw you know some pictures and some video, and I heard some uh, some discussion on social media about your table and your launch, and I, I think that was great. I think you got some good feedback there, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was really good. I mean, those guys put on an awesome event, and I mean, I, I hope they keep doing it. I hope they. Maybe do more than a couple a year. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, they did a good um, job. so yeah, we got a lot of good feedback. We got um, a lot of good suggestions, even on. And uh, I mean, yeah, we were handing out energy drinks. We had some of our PC set up there and showcased, and mm -hmm. um, had some of our employees there gaming. So I mean, yeah, it was it was a great event. So let's go back to the the PCs and the build for just a minute. Um, I think I think that. You know, when when I was building and the and the PC gamers that that I know um, are are primarily building their own systems yeah. too, right? Yeah. Um, and so, what options do you have for someone who who generally had built their own system, or um, what benefits do you bring um, instead of you know somebody home building a system? Yeah, so I mean that's that's kind of the the market segment is kind of, you know, there's a lot of do it yourself, but mm -hmm. going to go online to new egg or Amazon, wherever and buy their parts and build it themselves. Um, you know, we have a lot of employees at by speed that are kind of techie guys, you know, on our help desk and our PC building and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they all build their own. They don't buy a bite speed PC, you know, mm -hmm. it's cause they know how to do that. <laughs> but, um, but it's, um, our relationship with our vendors and our manufacturers, you know, we, um, Asus is a big partner of ours. Mm -hmm. We use all their motherboards, all their video cards. Um, so we're able to build a PC that we know is rock solid and is going to work. Yep. You don't have to worry about um, maybe a, a brand of memory not working with a motherboard random or something. Random incompatibility. Yeah, you didn't random see incompatibility. Coming, yeah. We, right. we burned in all of our systems after they're built for, we'll try to 48 hours. Um, depends on how much of a rush order it is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so we, um, we really try to, um, leverage, you know, in our company, what we have, you know, we got people that are experienced with building computers. They know the components, they know, um, they know everything about it. So mm -hmm. we have something that's out of the box is going to work and you're going to be able to turn it on and, and start gaming right away. And, and your help desk your is right here in town. Yep. 
And so yep. if, if anybody has trouble with anything, they, they call somebody here in town. Mm, they, yep, they do. Within two to four rings, we answer the phone and transfer mm-hmm. to technicians. So that's, it's, I know it's that quick. that's a huge deal. You know, we're proud of the fact that we've got our help desk here in town too. And it, it does make a difference. Yeah. Um, it does make a difference uh, just to know that you're talking to somebody locally who understands, um, you know, what we're doing around here and, and, and genuinely cares about the community. Right. Yeah. Um, so, so I think that that's great. Um, so talk me through, um, how does somebody go about, uh, researching or ordering, uh, one of the, one of your uh, PCs? So what you'll do is just check out our website mm-hmm. at gravitygaming.com and you can see our different models there and you can kind of custom build them right on the website. So um, there's lots of different upgrade options. We have our base models and then you can upgrade video cards, memory, hard drives. Um, you can add LED lights, which I like. I like the fancy glitz and glam of it all. So Every um, gamer does. Yeah. I've never seen a gaming PC that doesn't have some sort of LED. I was just showing uh, Bill, uh, producer here, uh, the other day in my office that even my uh, tower in, in, in my office has nice, cool Is red it? LEDs glowing <laughs> in the fans and stuff like that. It's, that's just the way, that's just the way it goes. So you have to have a little uh, flash there. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, Lucas, being in the marketing department, I can get one of these machines with those high graphic cards. Uh, and yeah. we'll so see. I, I look at them not only as gaming machines, but also like in the marketing department, you can definitely do a lot with it. It's a PC, so no, right. it's not just... Let's um, talk about that, honestly, because the, 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 the PC that I have at work would be an excellent gaming machine, um, but I use it because of the intensive graphic or in the intensive... Um, you know, I work on, on, on large documents sometimes that have a lot of images and really require a lot of RAM, a lot of processing power, a lot of, um, you know, everything I need everything. And, and so gaming PCs really good are good for power users at work too. So well, that's, even, yeah, even on the bike speed side, I mean, we sell to, um, AutoCAD designers, people who need high end stuff, you know, mm-hmm. so we're already buying all those parts and getting good deals on them, but it's just a different case, maybe adding some lights and, and then you're into a gaming machine. Mm-hmm. It's kind of the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. It gives you the flexibility. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's great guys. I think it's great to see, you know, you guys locally, uh, succeeding in, in your core business of, of PCs, but then, you know, realizing that there's another market here and, and, and branching out. And I think that, I think that, um, we've seen at 702 and, and just the community has seen really um, an uptick in interest in the gaming community. And I think yeah, that we're definitely. seeing the gaming community rally together a little bit more and support each other, support the developers and support all these events um, more than they had before. Um, gaming is really coming out of uh, you know basements and and dens, and it's it's starting to to be out in 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 the community. And I think that um, you guys have a great opportunity um, here, and it's good to see. And um, I wish you guys the best of luck. And we can get updates from you guys on social media. Yes. What's what's your social media? How do we find you? Um, you can definitely check us out on Facebook or go to our website and there's quick little links that you can click on our Facebook icon. Click on that, like us or our Twitter page as well. We also have some YouTube um, videos out there. So we'll definitely keep you up to date on our newsletters as well if you want to sign up for our newsletters. Um, but definitely check out our Facebook page and Twitter for event updates and stuff. So. All right, guys. Well, that sounds great. Um, We'll have to do that. We'll be following you guys and see if we can't uh, team up um, and sponsor another event here in the the near future. Sounds good. Um, But I wish you the best of luck and and thank you both for coming today. Thanks for having us. And that's it. Thanks again to Angie and Lucas from Gravity Gaming by Bytespeed for coming by and talking about their new line of gaming PCs. Uh, It was fun to partner with them for the Games on the Plains event, and we're looking forward to some partnership opportunities coming up in the future. Uh, We wish them all the best of luck over there at uh, Bytespeed. Uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you got something out of it. And if you did, I hope you'll keep tuning in. I hope to tell your friends and subscribe. Uh, we're on YouTube, SoundCloud, Stitcher, tune in everywhere you need to be to enjoy this podcast. Um, we've got a lot of really good stuff coming up to in the near future. We've got more games, more gadgets, gadgets, and more guests. So, uh, tune in, subscribe, 
And uh, we hope to keep seeing you uh, uh, here on the podcast. So uh, until next time, 4G3, this is Brian Cromit. Game on. <laughs>